One of the critical functions of healthy soils is that they contain beneficial microbes that enhance plant defense against disease and sometimes against insects. Our journey took us to Clemson's Dr. Jeff Zender to talk about his work with PGPRs. Yeah, well, when I got to, to uh, Auburn, um, I had a colleague there in the plant pathology department. His name was Joe Klepper. Yeah. We were out in, in one of his field plots, and it was a, a field of cucumbers where he had been doing some experiments with these plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. And he saw that uh, the plants that were treated with these bacteria um, showed very little damage from uh, bacterial wilt disease. And so I said, well, this disease is transmitted by cucumber beetles. Do you know what's going on? You know, are, are cucumber beetles being affected by these bacteria? And he said, well, I don't know. So we kind of did a long series of experiments to sort of figure out what was going on. Yeah. And so the first thing that we wanted to do was to replicate those experiments in the field. And basically what we were doing was we were treating the cucumber seed with um, uh, these bacteria in a vegetative form. We would make a slurry yeah. and you would dip the seeds in the slurry and then you would plant the cucumbers. We did indeed show again that the plants that were treated with the certain strains of these bacteria were um, resistant or tolerant to some degree to the, the disease. So, you know, we knew that there was something going on. Yeah. So the next thing that we did was we wanted to focus on the cucumber beetles. Um, so we did some cage experiments in the greenhouse where we, we built some cages um, where we could confine the cucumber beetles. Yeah. And it was very dramatic, the difference in, in feeding um, by the cucumber beetles on the plants. The, the control plants were just chewed down basically to nothing. Yeah. And the plants that were treated you know, had very little feeding damage on okay. them. And we also showed that the, the incidence of bacterial wilt was much greater in the control plants than on the plants okay. that were treated with the, with the bacteria. Cucumber beetles are, are, are fairly unique in that they're stimulated by these plant compounds called cucurbitacin. And so we thought, huh, you know, <laughs> something going on here. And we found that the cucurbitacin levels were significantly reduced on the plants that had been treated with the, with the bacteria. Um, so that was a significant finding and we did some literature reviews and found that some of the precursor compounds um, in the plants for making cucurbitacin are also precursor compounds involved in these plant defense pathways. Okay. So what we suspect is happening is that if you, you know, treat the plants with the, the rhizobacteria, um, it's producing it, you know, it's turning on the, the plant defense pathways, which yeah. is a whole chemical cascade okay. of, of events in the plant. And the plants using those precursor compounds that normally would go into cucurbitacin into the, this plant defense pathway. Okay. So that's what we think is, is happening. Okay. The key thing is, um, you know, these bacteria occur naturally. Right. So if, if farmers can kind of maintain the, you know, microbial diversity in the soil, um, you know, preserve that you know, what's been termed the soil food web. Yes. Um, then, you know, they're, they're maximizing their chances that these beneficial microbes are going to be there. And, and I think, you know, the more beneficial microbes you have in the soil, the, the more vigorous the plant growth is going to be, you know, the more tolerant they are going to be um, okay. to, to diseases. Mm -hmm.